Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to this week's vendor reset, the greatest on the interweb. Righto champions, it's weekly vendor reset time, no server maintenance this week, so you can keep farming, raiding, and doing your thing in the DZ. Firstly, welcome back to all your amazing subscribers. And if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, you know what to do, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. And while you're there, engage with this video. A like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is gonna help the channel and our amazing community grow. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials, including Twitch, Discord, Facebook, The Works. All the links are in the description. Righto champions, before the vendors, let's see what's cracking in Div 2 this week. Hollywood Global Event is back again. It's not a bad one to play. And if you do all your regular farming with the global modifiers active, you're going to earn GE stars to spend at the GE store. Every four levels gained, you'll receive an apparel key for the Escalation Apparel event. So this week's farming's kind of a two for one situation. And EVA League is in its second and final week. Completing the four time missions last week set me up for easy completion this week. If you didn't do anything last week, you're going to have to put in a little bit of effort to cross everything off your list this week. And you know what doesn't take any effort at all? Staying up to date with everything Division related. Follow me everywhere, the links are in the description. So that's what's happening in Div 2 this week. Righto then, the vendors have now reset and I've done my usual whip around. Now this week's not too bad. We have a few items like previous raid exclusives and current DZ only items that are just easy enough to pick up from your vendors. Look, I get it, these full length vendor reset videos aren't for everyone. Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. I do a 60 second vendor recap video, so all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and check that out each and every week. But for this video, we do quickly go over my top picks for the week and we'll have the full overview at the end. Do keep in mind that the items that I mention might not be everyone's cup of tea because we all know what the vendors are like. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. As always, I'm your no-fuss vendor reset guy that's not going to fuck around and bullshit you or waste your time, so let's jump in and check it all out so you can get back to gaming. Kicking things off this week, we're going to start at the countdown vendor where we've got the designated hitter, the cherished, and the point man. I've always kind of overlooked this gun because I normally look at a healer build from a PvP standpoint, but this would work fine in PvE. The cherished chest is usable, but it's easy to farm a better one from countdown and I've always had a soft spot for the point man chest. I've used it on Liberty pistol builds and hazard support builds for PVE. All of these are good in their own way. It just depends if you want to get a little bit creative and make something with them. Heading to New York City, Marco at the Haven's got this MP5A2. The gun itself isn't that great, but it does have the new Thunderstrike talent. So it's easy enough to buy this and add to your talent library. At your White House vendor, we've got the Emmeline's Guard. This is a great little SMG on your run and gun armor on kill builds. Down from that, this ACRE has Thunderstrike as well. Same deal, buy it and donate the talent to your library. And a couple under that, we've got this Bellstone backpack. The armor's a little bit low, but it's got hazard protection that's near maxed out and it's got adrenaline rush. St. Elmo's double companion builds are everywhere at the moment. We all know that. A hazard protection regen shotgun build is a great counter for it. I'd grab this and use it as a placeholder and then work on the build from there. At your clan vendor this week, we've got a future initiative chess piece. This used to be a raid exclusive. I still get regular comments asking where to get this. Normally I say just farm future gear. Well, this week you can just buy it. The Heartbreaker holster here has solid armor and crit hit damage. So this one's a nice one too. And further down the list, this SOCOM M1A is sitting pretty because it's got the talent Determined on it. Now Determined is currently bugged when using it in combination with the Headhunter talent. Is this an exploit? All I know is it is a little bit cheesy when using to farm. There is a fix coming soon, so I guess just use it at your own risk. Now we're going to be popping on over to DZ West where we've got the backup boomstick. Now this is another item that a lot of players are asking about because it hits so goddamn hard. The attributes and the talent aren't the best, but you can just buy it from the vendor. Shooting on down to DZ South this week, we've got the Orbit with max damage to armor and perfect finisher. 
This is an amazing sidearm for both PvE and PvP, but it will cost you 153 DZ resources. Down the list here, I did spot this Badger backpack. Near max armor, some hazard protection, explosive resistance, and adrenaline rush. Perfect for that hazard protection regen shotgun build that we talked about before, or any other version of a hazard protection shotgun build. And the last stop this week is gonna to be to DZ East for this godly yell mask. The armor's shit, who cares? It's got near max hazard protection and max crit hit damage. This is the piece you want on your anti-shock builds to counter the San Elmos. Use this with the shocker punch holster and you're gonna be completely immune to shock. You are so, so welcome. So like it or not champions, those are my tasty pickle ticklers for this week. Look, there's probably plenty of other tasty items that I might have overlooked, so do make sure that you mention your top picks in the comments to help the rest of the community out. On screen now is today's targeted loot. Pause it, check it, and farm it. Make sure you do hang around and check out the full overview up next, and hey, if you spot a tasty buy for the week that I might have missed, mention it in the comments below to help everyone out. And like always, show your content creators your support. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All this kind of stuff really does help support myself and the channel. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, and I will catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.
new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so and in. I'm always. 